I'm David DiPietro. I'm the assemblyman here. <clears throat> and I have a, uh, it's an honor to have, to do a proclamation from the state of New York. It's the highest award that we can offer. We only allow a few of these a year and they have to be vetted. Normally with a certificate, I can do those in my office, but something of this nature, the assembly has to okay it and they write it. We give them the information, they put it together. So it's really a, a great honor. <clears throat> what I like to do with these is there are a lot of whereases and I wanna have fun with this because it's such a great honor that when, when there's a whereas, I'm gonna just raise my hand and everybody scream whereas so that we can honor Chelsea. So let's practice it once, huh? Whereas. A little louder, ready? Whereas. All right, okay. Whereas. The state of New York takes great pride in recognizing those individuals who have distinguished themselves through their service to the community and Whereas. one such individual is First Lieutenant Chelsea Hipsch who graduated on August 30th, 2019 from one of the toughest leadership courses at the Army Ranger School in Fort Benning, Georgia, and currently serves as the first female airman in the Air Force to earn the tab. And yes. First Lieutenant Chelsea Hipsch has completed rigorous challenges with a concentration on small unit tactics and combat leadership, developed proficient leadership skills and achieved command tools under mental, emotional, and physical strains in order to improve individual resiliency and coping mechanisms. She has inspired those she leads to learn more about themselves and their ability to persevere despite adversity, noting that an understanding of how you function when you're hungry, tired, wet, cold, and worse, then you have to lead a team of individuals feeling the exact same way. You really find out a lot about your teammates and yourself in these st stressful situations. Yes. First Lieutenant Chelsea Hips completed three phases in her training. The Fort Benning phase, where she trained on squad operations and focused on ambush and recon missions, patrol base operations, and planning. The mountain phase, where she developed skills at the platoon level in order to refine and complete training. And the third phase, the swamp phase. That doesn't sound good. Uh, where she became adept at leading squad and platoon dismounted operations around the clock in all climates and terrains. And <clears throat> First Lieutenant Chelsea Hips, a former enlisted airman, was qualified for a slot in the course by attending the Air Force's assessment course hosted by the Air Force Security Forces Center, then improved her skills with the Tropic Lightning Academy in Schofield Barracks, Hawaii, and Whereas. First Lieutenant Chelsea Hips was with the 347 Security Forces Squadron at Yokota Air Base in Japan. Chelsea Hips also led PACAF's 2018 Defender Challenge team to six event trophies and the overall Defender Challenge Championship and Whereas. Ranger School is truly not for the weak or faint of heart. It speaks well of all those who persevere to find that inner grit and motivation to push through all that Ranger School throws at them. The perspective tabbed airmen earn, ser earn serves them well when the mission gets challenging and others look to to them to find a way, said Lieutenant Colonel Sorensen, Air Force Security Forces Center, Chief of Training. Whereas. First Lieutenant Chelsea Hips will offer her leadership training to a new organization as a flight commander in the 821 Contingency Response Support Squadron of Travis Air Force Base, California, which supported Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, after Hurricane Michael demolished the previous year's installation. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that Assemblyman Dave DiPietro, in conjunction with the citizens of the 140th Assembly District, that's all of you, offer praise and congratulations to Chelsea Hips as she is honored as the first Air Force female to earn the Ranger tab. It's actually dated August 30th, 2019, when she finished her training. But today is Chelsea Hips Day in New York State. As many of you know, uh, Chelsea was, was the first female airman 
or Air Woman, uh, in our nation's history to graduate from a Ranger School and earn an Army Ranger tab, an honor she will carry on her uniform for the rest of your li her life, and I know Wyoming will be always so proud for the rest of its existence. Graduating from Ranger School is truly an incredible achievement. Every year thousands attempt and thousands ultimately fail. Uh, Ranger School is designed to separate out the best warriors in our nation's military and make them capable of reaching new heights. With her graduation, uh, Chelsea's not only broken barriers but continued that long-standing tradition of strength, resilience, and perseverance needed to complete such a grueling course of training. And I am told she wasted no time and went back to training with the Air Force. Truly remarkable. Western New York has a long and humbling heritage of military service and excellence, and Chelsea represents the best we have to offer. In recognition, Chelsea, of your outstanding achievement, I would like to present you with a flag flown in your honor over the United States Capitol and this congressional commendation as well. On behalf of all the uh, residents of the 27th Congressional District and the, in the United States House of Representatives as well, thank you for your service and your commitment to our country. Uh, and uh, I, it is a truly honor to do this in particular on Memorial Day weekend. Chelsea, congratulations and thank you for your service. I'm Bob Wood from the American Legion of Harder O'Donnell Posts here in Attica, New York. It's post number 734. I have a document here, a presentation for Lieutenant Hipsch. And if Lieutenant Hipsch would come forward a little bit, and if I'm not talking loud enough, raise your hand and I'll try to increase my voice. This is a certificate of honor from the American Legion. This certificate is presented to honor Lieutenant Chelsea Hipsch, U.S. Air Force, in recognition and grateful appreciation for serving in the United States Armed Forces in the name of freedom and democracy, and for allegiance to God and country, and courageously protecting our liberty and independence. The certificate is presented on May 30th, 2021. And I thank you for your service. Okay, thank you very much. Now it's my turn. Um, now this is the highest award the Village of Attica could give. <laughs> and I'm pleased to give it to Lieutenant Chelsea Hipsch. So I'm gonna read mine. Um, we can, if you guys wanna do the whereas, I'll raise my hand again, we can play the same game here. <laughs> so, <laughs> we acknowledge the accomplishment of graduating on August 30th, 2019 from the United States Army's Ranger School and yes. we acknowledge the fact that only a small but growing number of women graduate from the United States Army Ranger School and yes. <laughs> we acknowledge that she is the first female airman ever to graduate from the United States Army Ranger School and yes. we recognize First Lieutenant Chelsea Hips for her accomplishment as the first female airman ever to graduate from the United States Army Ranger School now, therefore, I do hereby proclaim May 30th, 2021 to be Chelsea Hipsch Day in the village of Attica, extended to her my personal congratulations and also those of all of our citizens. We appreciate her dedication and leadership and we wish her every success in the future. Okay, now um, I'm just gonna say a few personal things, and then you know we'll let we'll let Chelsea. She's got a few words to say too. Um, 
I would just like to say, as as a father of two daughters myself, and you know, looking around here, seeing seeing the the the, the young ladies, I mean, the accomplishments she that she made for, you know, the females. This the story will be told for years, generations, and you know, forever. And uh, you know, to break that barrier is is very personal to me. Again, by having two daughters, you know, one that served in the United States Army with her husband currently serving the U.S. Army, and I got a little four-year-old granddaughter. I guess she'd be a army brat I guess it would be <laughs> so you know but so something like this it, it really it really you know hits hits home when when you got your you know daughters and you know so I, I thank you for that and I, I definitely thank you for your service so if you'd like to say a few words it's hard to follow all that up right thank you so much um, I'm honored I'm humbled by this opportunity to have a community that supports military members. Let me know if I need to speak up, because I definitely will. Um, <laughs> it wasn't so long ago, right here? It wasn't so long ago that, you know, I was here uh, 17 when I joined the Air Force. My mom and dad signed me up early. Please don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, couldn't wait to get rid of me, right? Um, but Michael Lear, if he's here, I'm not sure if he made it out, but he was actually my recruiter in Batavia. Um, so if there are any members here or, or young children that are looking into the military, you know, it's been a great adventure and my family has been so supportive of me on the wild ride, um, the opportunities that I've received being in the military to explore the world and I'm excited for the new chapter of my life in the FBI, but that's my one little plug to join the military. For any members that are looking into that, they can definitely speak to me afterwards. Um, you know, what you, what you said, Mr. Montfort, about um, about women in the military, I just think that this is a pivotal moment for us and it's great to have that opportunity and everyone keeps saying you're the first, but I hope that I'm not the last. I hope that, you know, it, it opens up some doors for some women to do some things that maybe they're a little bit unsure of and they don't have the confidence to do because I know walking into that gate, I didn't think I was going to make it through, but I was going to give it my all. Um, and lastly, I'd be remiss if I didn't say anything about why we celebrate and why we take a break tomorrow and this weekend for Memorial Day to mourn and honor those that we've lost military service. Excuse me. For the Gold Star families that are out there who've lost members, we celebrate them as well. And for those members in the military that we've lost, I was listening to a speech recently from General James Mattis, retired, um, where he speaks about Memorial Day and how important it is not only to take a moment to reflect on those members that we've lost, but to also remember why they did what they did, the sacrifices that they made and to honor their lives by being grateful every day for the freedom that we're able to have and to hold your families tight, right? And be so thankful for those opportunities and those members with the courageousness to go out and do some things that maybe a little bit, uh, and all of us are a little afraid of, right? But I'm absolutely honored to be here and I thank you all for coming out. A lot of family and friends out here, so I really appreciate it. Thank you.